Howdy, everybody. Well, forgive me, I know I'm not in my normal recording location, but I wanted to shoot a quick video answer for one of my friends on LinkedIn. She asked, uh, her name is Kahindi, by the way, and I hope I'm spelling, uh, pronouncing that right, but Kahindi asked me if I could walk her through how to make a bucket public in AWS S3. Yeah, that could be tricky. Let's take a look at it in this video. So here I am in my AWS management console and we're gonna, of course, head over to S3. Let's go ahead and create a brand new bucket in order to demonstrate how to make it public. By the way, you can see a bunch of buckets that I have in here already, and notice how there's this fairly new column that displays about the access for these buckets. Notice some of these are not public, some of these are objects can be public, and one of them is public. The one that is public, by the way, uh, I might point out to you that it's the patrioticparrot.com bucket. This patriotic parrot is an invention of my stepfather's and he asked me to create him a website. So I decided to create the website and host it right here in an AWS bucket. So this is a pretty interesting bucket. It serves up the website that is the patrioticparrot.com. Such a clever feature. It's kind of like serverless compute, right? You have a bucket, you toss the HTML in that bucket, and then you click a button that says, make it a web server. It's like magic. So that obviously needs to be public if people are gonna be accessing it. But let's get back to the point here. How do you make a bucket public? So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna create a bucket and we're gonna put in a bucket name and I will do, how about linked in test two or something like that. This has to be a unique name. So in all of global AWS, so hopefully that is, we'll do this in the US East region. And now this is the first bit of interesting information here. Do we want the bucket settings uh, for blocking public access? So notice that by default, when you set up a bucket, it will block all public access. So there's a safety mechanism now built into this process. We obviously need to uncheck that. And it says, okay, this means that you might accidentally make stuff public and we're gonna acknowledge that we're aware of that and then we're gonna choose the create bucket button. So there is our LinkedIn test two bucket and notice it has that status of objects can be public. So we are not blocking that capability. If we then click on the bucket, we'll be zeroing in on the bucket's properties. And sure enough, we're gonna go up to the permissions tab. And on the permissions tab, you can see that we have turned off the blocking of all public access. And I'm gonna go to the access control list area here and under the public access, I'm gonna click that we want everyone to be able to list objects from this bucket. You're probably not wanting to have write privileges to the bucket to the public. So if you are, go ahead and check that. But in my case, let's just do it where the public, the world can list objects can read access to the objects in the bucket, if you will, and then I am going to click save. By the way, the other options in there were to allow public access to the access control list settings, so the permission settings, and, and we certainly don't want that. So that's why I did not check those either. Notice now Amazon Web Services does a great job of really flagging what we've done here. There's a little public indicator on the permissions tab. There's a little public indicator on the access control list tab there. And if we go back to the Amazon S3 and we take a look at our buckets here, you'll see that the LinkedIn test two bucket is now public. But I will say this is a little deceptive and this is probably what initiated uh, the question to me in LinkedIn. 
Because watch, if I go into the bucket and we go ahead and upload an object to the bucket, let me grab, oh, some silly photo of mine, like the thumbs up photo, and I upload this to the bucket, we're going to see something interesting. Even though this JPEG is in a public bucket, when I try and access it, and think about this, I am the person that just uploaded it. I am denied the read access. Yikes. So here's what we would want to do. If we want to implement a policy for this bucket where everything is public as it is placed in the bucket, what we need to do is we need to set up a bucket policy. So I'm gonna go back to the permissions for the bucket. Remember we set up the ACL on the bucket so that stuff would be public, it's a public bucket. But we need to go in and set a, bu a bucket policy for what I'm trying to accomplish here. And that is anything that gets tossed into it is immediately public. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this Amazon resource uh, name, the ARN, so I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard because I'm gonna need that ARN when I go into my policy generator here and generate some policy. We are going to choose the S3 bucket policy. We want to allow every principle, so we'll just use an asterisk for that. That's uh, you know how we're able to say anyone inside the policy logic there. So asterisk for the principle, and it's gonna be Amazon S3, and what we're going to permit is the get, and we don't want get bucket, we're gonna want the get object. So we want them to be able to read this object. So we select that action, and then there is the Amazon resource name. So I'm gonna paste that in, and it's for the LinkedIn test two, and I'll do a forward slash and an asterisk to indicate that it's gonna be applying this permission to absolutely anything that we toss in that bucket. Oh, it's just waiting on me to click add statement. There we go. So there is everybody allow the S3 get object for these resources, no conditions, We'll say generate policy, and it is going to allow us to do our copy and paste. So let me copy that to the clipboard. Let me click close, and we're gonna go slide over to our S3 management console once again, and we are simply going to paste that policy in and say save. And if we did it right, we now have a public flag on the bucket policy, <laughs> yeah and it's time to test this out now. So we're gonna go back over to the overview of our bucket. Let's see if it had any effect on the existing thumbs up JPEG. So we're gonna go back and take a look at that. Look at that. So even for existing objects now, they are public. And let's just make sure that this is gonna work for something else we might put in the bucket. So I'll go to upload once again. I'll choose add files, we'll grab another one, and we'll upload it. And then of course, when it's done uploading, we're gonna see if it is public, and it is. Hey, it's the Tiger King, yo. All right, so there we have it. We have now made a public bucket, and we've made a policy so that absolutely anything placed in that bucket will be public and I cannot end without a word of caution. <laughs> really make sure you understand the implications of this before you do it. Well, thanks so much for the great question and keep them coming. And of course, I'll keep making videos for you.